NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, have taken the art world by storm over the past few years. That's because they make owning digital works of art possible, meaning that for the first time, you can now own things like JPEGs and GIFs. Think of them as a way to authenticate digital art in the same way that we do for physical art. But some are skeptical that NFTs are as useful or as valuable as they may seem. Here's how they work. First, you need to understand what fungibility is. Fungibility refers to the ability of an asset to be exchanged or substituted with similar assets of the same value. A simple example of a fungible asset is money. Say you have four quarters. You may not want to carry around so much change, so you exchange them for a single dollar bill. The value of your money is still one dollar, regardless of the fact that it's now in a different form. Non-fungible assets are the opposite. Each one is unique and can't be easily substituted for something similar. Art is a non-fungible asset. Take this work by Bisa Butler from the Newark Museum of Art's collection. It's an original work. It couldn't be swapped for, say, a poster from the museum's gift shop because reproductions and even exact replicas don't compare to the original. An NFT is a bit like a digital signature at the corner of a piece of art. That signature proves it's authentic. NFTs are cryptocurrencies, but unlike fungible cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, they are completely unique. They are stored on a blockchain ledger, which is a list of information that is the backbone of all cryptocurrencies. This information can contain who owns the digital asset, who sold it, and when it was sold. This information is also encrypted, ensuring the NFT's authenticity. NFTs have been applied to music albums, video games, and even social media posts. And non-fungible tokens are making their way into the mainstream art world as well. Auction House Christie's auctioned its first purely digital art NFT in 2021. The piece sold for over $69 million. But there is skepticism that ownership alone makes a digital asset valuable. When it comes to digital art, a buyer can own the original digital painting, but the person can't keep others from copying the image and sharing or changing it online. Also, there are concerns about the viability of maintaining digital artworks. If a website hosting the digital art goes down and the duplicates are the only ones that exist, what's the value of the NFT? But proponents are excited about the future of NFTs, both for the creativity they allow and the markets they create.